Hello everyone. In this video, we will be multiplying scientific notation. Before we go over this example that we have right here, let's establish the basic rule in multiplying numbers in scientific notation. We remember that the general rule in multiplying scientific notation is that we are supposed to multiply their coefficients and we add their exponents. So looking at this general scientific notation that we have right here multiplied together, what we do again is to multiply their coefficients. So this C and D shall be multiplied together. So I'm just going to go ahead and label that um, down here. And this... Um, m exponent m and this exponent n right here shall be added together so i'm just gonna go ahead and label that up here okay this means that the product between these two scientific notation that we have right here would come out to be c times d times 10 to the power m plus n so this is the general rule in multiplying scientific notation. Okay, so let's use the rules that we've established in determining the product of these two expressions that we have right here. Let's start with the first one. So the basic rule in multiplying scientific notation is that we are supposed to multiply the coefficients and we're supposed to add their exponents. So in this case right here, we are going to multiply 2.2 and three. So again, we are going to multiply them. I'm just going to go ahead and write times for that. So that means we're going to um, multiply them. 2.2 .2 times three is 6.6. .6. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that down here. So that is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power for the exponent. We are supposed to um, add them. So this four and 5 shall be added together. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this as plus right there so that we can go ahead and write this as um, 4 plus 5. So then the final answer for this would be 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power 9. So this is the product of this two scientific notation um, that we have up there. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the basic rule in determining the product of two scientific notation multiplied together is to multiply the coefficient and add their exponents. So in this case right here, this 5 and 7 shall be multiplied together. So I'm just going to label this as um, times right here. So 5 times 7 is 35. So I'm going to write the product down here. So that is 35 times 10 to the power. Now remember that their exponents should be added together. So this 3 and 8 shall be added together. So I'm just going to go ahead and label that up here. So 3 plus 8 would be 11. So that we can go ahead and rewrite this as 35 times 10 to the power 11. Please notice that this coefficient that we have here is way off or bigger than 9.9999 and it repeats. So this is not in standard form. We remember that the coefficient of a scientific notation is not in standard form. When you move the decimal point to the left, add the number of moves to the exponent. And when you move the decimal point to the right, subtract the number of moves to the exponent. So in this case right here, our decimal point is after the 5. Since this is 35 and it's way bigger than 9.9999, so then we can go ahead and say that we can move the decimal point to the left one time, so that becomes 3.5. Since we are moving this decimal point to the left one time, I go ahead and add 1, and we add 1 also to the exponent. So this would come out... 3.5, so because that's become 3.5 because the dot was already moved between 3 and 5, times 10 to the power 11 plus 1 is 12. So this is the product of this two scientific notation that we have um, up there. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah. Good.
Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. So we are supposed to multiply these to scientific notation that we have right here. Again, the basic rule in multiplying scientific notation is that we're supposed to multiply the coefficient and add their exponents. So in this case right here, we are going to multiply 1.5 and 4. So then this will be labeled as um, times right here. And so 1.5 times 4 is actually 6, so we can go ahead and write 6 right here. That is times 10 to the power. Now their exponents shall be um, added together. The 5 and the negative 3 shall be added together. So I'm just going to label the plus on that one. So then that would be 5 plus negative 3. So we can go ahead and simplify this as 6 times 10 to the power. 5 plus negative 3 is positive 2. So this is the product of this expression that we have up there. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the basic rule in multiplying scientific notation is to multiply the coefficients and add their exponents. So in this case right here, I'm going to multiply 3.5 and 9. And so 3.5 times 9 is actually 31.5. So I'm going to write 31.5 down here, and that is times 10 to the power. Remember, their exponents shall be... Um, added together. So negative 7 plus 4. Again, that is supposed to be added together. So that is negative 7 plus 4. So that we can go ahead and simplify this as 31.5 times 10 to the negative 3. Notice that the coefficient here is not in standard form because this is not between 1 to 9.999999 and it repeats. So we need to move this decimal point to the left here. Please remember that when the coefficient of a scientific notation is not in standard form, when you move the decimal point to the left, add the number of moves to the exponent. And when you move the decimal point to the right, subtract the number of moves to the exponent. So in this case right here, since this is 31.5, we can move the decimal point one place to the left to make it 3.15, and that is between 1 through 9.999, so that we can go ahead and say that since we're moving to the left, we are actually adding 1. So we add 1 to the exponent as well. So this comes out 3.15, times 10 to the power negative 2 because you have a negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So this is the product of this expression that we have up there. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.